All right, Catch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So look, man, today we're going to be talking about the attempted assassination on Donald Trump and um, how we feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, We got a couple episodes that's coming up, so be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? But look, man, we're going to get right to it. You know what I mean? So stick with us. All right, man. Look, like what you hear, please subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Also, too, we have uh, Sketchpad Reactions, a bunch of other odd channels. Just go subscribe to those. But if you want us to react to your stuff, cue cards on the screen. If you want to donate, that's on the screen as well, too. So look, ah, man. They try to assassinate Donald Trump. Now, this is the thing. They just gu- guaranteed him the White House now. I don't understand why they even still fighting at this point. You know what I'm saying? I think that if they they know he's going to win, so the best thing for them, I, I believe the best thing for them to do is for them to basically try to strike a deal with Donald Trump. Try to work it out. Try to get on the same page because from what I could see these people are, are lunatics the man is winning in every poll you try to you try to lock the man up you try to throw him in jail you try to assassinate his character and then you literally try to assassinate him now again I don't know if it was the Dems that try to do it, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say they are trying to kill his public perception. I'll put it to you like that. And him mm-hmm. almost being shot is shocking to me. I'm very shocked that this country has gone that far. Because when you ask people, progressives, liberals, or whatever, why do you think Donald Trump should not be the president? They don't really have a significant answer or answer that is enough that you could say, well, you know what? I agree with that. They always have this. They always do this mental gymnastics and they just dance around it instead of just telling you why. And when they do tell you something, it's just the same regurgitated talking points from everybody. He, oh, oh, he's a racist. Oh, 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 he supports this. Oh, he does that. In 1976, he denied black people the apartment. He called one of the African countries a shithole. Oh, he was, he, he said that there were good people on both sides. Of the white nationalists in in the KKK. It's like, when are we going to actually do some research? Because a lot of this stuff, people don't want to say, you know what? He didn't say that. They don't want to say that. They just want to go along with the narrative. And it's crazy to me. So Trump picked, I believe, J.D. Vance as his running mate. And I believe the National Convention is tonight or tomorrow night. I'm not sure. But he got all of the the, the classified documents. Case got thrown out today. His one case got pushed back. They don't know if that's going to actually happen now. Well, before presidency. And that's a federal case. So if he does become president, he's just going to pardon himself. The Georgia case ain't going nowhere. All these cases is just dying left and right. And I don't know if Biden is going to stay in the race, but the attempted assassination on Trump 
kind of took all the spotlight off Biden. Now people are not talking about Biden. Dropping out the race. Mm -hmm. And this forced the Democrats to actually defend Trump. Because a lot of Democrats, whether they lying or not, whether you believe it or not, they had to say it on record. So it don't matter if you believe them or not. They had to say it. No political opponent should be. People should not be trying to kill or do anything to political opponents. Obama said it. Biden said it. Everybody had to say it. So whether it makes them. Whether they're lying about saying it. Or not. They on record saying it. So guess what? Anybody that's voting for Trump. They even some of the Democrats are looking like. Damn, what's going on here? Y'all really trying to y'all really trying to stop this man from being president? That much that y'all willing to kill this man? Y'all willing to kill him? Now, I'm not saying that they did it, but I'm saying that a lot of people are going to look at it that way. Because mm-hmm. all of these indictments and then uh, attempted assassination? Come on, bro. <laughs> you think people ain't going to vote for him now? Please. Mm-hmm. Every state is in play now. Every one of them in play. New Jersey, New York, California, they all in play now. And don't be surprised if he wins by a landslide. He might beat Biden so bad that it might be something like, I believe it's like 328 delegates they got to get. He might get like 400 or something. Mm -hmm. Like he might smoke Biden so bad. I ain't going to lie. But either way, hey man, I'm glad he's all right though. Yeah, um, <clears throat> what's crazy is uh, I had this same exact discussion uh, with one of my relatives earlier this morning. And um, I explained to him, he was like, well, you know, Trump doesn't like this and Trump doesn't like that. Trump hates black people. Trump's a racist. I said, yo, Unc, I said, find out on record whether he said this or not. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what he said, but I want you, you to find it out for yourself. Because I promise you half of that stuff is fabricated. And I promise you half of that stuff is just chopped up sound bites of him talking and it just pasted together. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, you cannot find something directly him saying this. He might have said something similar and then they just click cut and paste and put things together. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying Trump don't have faults. All the presidents had faults somewhere. But what I'm saying is that y'all got to come up with a better excuse when it comes to Donald Trump instead of like always bringing up the same things over and over and over again because it's getting tiring. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> as far as his assassination, as far as I'm trying to get, I figured this was going to happen because a lot of y'all out there are dubious individuals. You know what I'm saying? Y'all willing to do anything and God me and I mean anything to just get y'all point across. So what y'all think that was going to do? Y'all just basically, like homie said, y'all just basically put put the presidency right in his lap. Y'all put it right in his lap. Now, what you think is going to stop him now? Now, Biden. Biden ain't stopping him. Biden's finished. Biden is finished. And and the way it was done was it definitely looks like, you know, the other side did it. Even though there's no proof. But the way everything, tra- the way everything transpired, it looks like that. You know what I mean? Not to mention... Not to mention, there were people at the event that literally seen the man uh, climbing up the the, uh, with a ladder up to the up the building to go sit on his porch. So then that way he can uh, shoot at Trump. There were people that watched it and they tried to tell the security, but security was like, 
nonchalant about it. Like, they didn't even respond. Like, I don't know what was up with that. You know what I mean? So, so it looks like somebody's infiltrated within the ranks. And they knew that was going to happen because nobody, they, they responded in enough time for him not to be killed. But from what is being said in media, they seen it before he even took the shot. They seen it. So if you seen it, you should have been able to stop that guy a long time ago. If I see somebody climbing up the wall like Spider-Man, am I going to sit there and just watch? If I'm security for this man, am I going to sit there and just watch? Or am I going to alert somebody nearby to catch him? <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, you know, there's so many, so many uh, things that's being painted out right now. You know what I mean? You really don't know what's the truth or not. But I will say this, like, I feel that somebody's infiltrated and then somebody was there at the time, they knew it was going to happen and they allowed it to get that far before they stopped it. That's how, I, that's what I think. Because there's no way you can watch somebody climb up the wall and then not address it. So, but I'm glad he's good because this is not no way to try to stop somebody from being president of the United States. This is no way of doing it, you know? But hey, this is the times we live in. Hey, man. All right, man, look, man. Shout out to Trump, man. <clears throat> See y'all, peace, bye.